Now to a first look at a new documentary shining light on Hollywood star Natalie Wood and her mysterious death told from the perspective of her own daughter. Chris Connolly spoke to Natasha Gregson Wagner about the mom she knew and what she believes happened all those years ago. Good morning, Chris. And good morning, Amy. A screen goddess from a golden age, an actress who could enchant moviegoers. Natalie Wood received three Oscar nominations before she was 25, just part of a career and a life that ended far too soon. Now this new documentary and her daughter, Natasha Gregson Wagner, sharing with viewers for the first time the Natalie Wood that only her loved ones knew. Come down. No. Maria. As Maria in West Side Story, and as the passionate Deanie in Splendor in the Grass. Don't you dare! Don't you dare, Mom! Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Natalie Wood, the former child star from the original Miracle on 34th Street, who blossomed into an actress of glamour and compelling emotion, a screen icon until her tragic death in 1981 at the age of 43. I am Natasha Gregson Wagner, and my mom was Natalie Wood. Special memories shared by her daughter, Natasha Gregson Wagner, in a new HBO documentary, Natalie Wood, What Remains Behind, filled with never before seen video and intimate stories. What was it like to look back on those, to see those in some cases for the first time in many years? A lot of those home movies we hadn't seen at all because they had just been in this box for eights and 16 millimeter. The biggest thing for me is that it just reminded me that I didn't dream the memories of my childhood. All that really happened. Her favorite fragrance was Jungle Gardenia, so she always wore Jungle Gardenia. This is a story of family. This is a love story. Natasha's childhood in the 1970s saw her mother remarrying her first husband, actor Robert Wagner. Natasha sitting down on camera with her beloved stepfather, now 90. When you and mommy got back together, she was a mom and you were a dad. That's right. And you guys had had 10 years between. So had you both really grown up? I think so. You know, when we were younger, we were very interested in our careers. What was it like to ask the, him about the last uh, night of your mother's life? It was, you know, my heart was beating a bit because obviously he and I have spoken about that, but never on camera for their idyllic family life together had been shattered in November of 1981 when her mother was found drowned off the coast of Catalina near LA after a late night on a boat with Wagner and actor Christopher Walken. When he goes over what that night was, what do you think he regrets? He regrets that she died, you know. To me, what the, the culprit that night was, was the alcohol. Had that not been a factor, I think, maybe things would have turned out a little differently, but I feel closure about that night. I'm hoping that with the documentary, we can focus on her life. I think if she were alive today, she'd be on the forefront of equal pay for women. She'd be on the forefront fighting for equal rights for the LGBTQ community. She was so ahead of her time in so many ways. Tomorrow we'll have more with Natasha, how the memory of her childhood gave her just what she needed to endure and to find happiness. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.